Hey guys, Derek and Polly here from a guy, a girl in a camper van. So as you know, we're back in Ontario now. Uh, we're parked in a Walmart parking lot for the night. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we're just making some dinner, but we thought it was a good opportunity to maybe uh, just give you a quick little update about where we're at now. It's been about a uh, little over 17 months that we've been in the van at this point. We're finally finished uh, posting all of our road trip videos from earlier this summer. And so now we're really excited because we get to uh, start posting some real-time videos to show you just sort of how we live in the van from day to day. So we figured we'd check in really quick to let you know where we're at and where we're headed next, I guess, as a channel. But before we do that, we gotta pause for a second because it's time to fry up some of these onions. So you get the onions in there okay. and we have to put everything away. Coats. Coats. Towels. Towels. And I think that's it. Curtain. That's it. All right. This privacy curtain sort of serves as our bedroom door. It's made out of a blackout curtain. It blocks out 99% uh, of light, 25% uh, of sound. But for right this moment, we use it because it also blocks out the smell from the cooking of the onions. We found that onions in particular, whenever you start frying them, the smell of the onions gets into everything if you're not careful. Everything. So that's why our towels that we hang here after our showers in the morning to dry, we put them back there, any coats we happen to have hanging and uh, keep them away from all of these scents. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, I'm hungry. Me too. Start chopping some of this cabbage. Yeah, please. I've got turnip here, okay. but I think cut that in half, eh? Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna do these guys in thin strips. Yeah, that's what I do with these guys. So, what we're making for dinner tonight, we're just kind of making it up as we go along, yep. and that's probably a good segue back into what we're gonna be doing next with the channel. <laughs> 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 so we're back in Ontario as we said we've actually been back for a while um, this is where our uh, our jobs are so this is kind of our home base we want to do a whole bunch more traveling a lot of people have been asking if we're gonna go down into the US next uh, maybe you know go down to Florida or, you know for the for the winter or something like that but unfortunately before we can do anything like that we've got to save up some more gas money and some more vacation time so for the for the time being, we're kind of stuck here. But just because we're stuck in one spot doesn't mean that we can't still uh, do some traveling. It just means that we can't go for quite as long and quite as far. Yeah, and Derek and I really enjoy a lot of hiking and camping and even winter camping. So uh, maybe we'll take you along for the ride on one of our adventures out into the, into the bush over the winter. So do you think this is enough carrots? Yeah, I think that's perfect. Awesome. These onions are looking pretty good too. I think it's time to throw the carrots and turnips in. We will snack on this Let's then. Let's do it. You gotta snack when you cook. <laughs> of course. It's not cooking if you're not snacking. Thank you. Mm. Toss her in. We have cabbage, red pepper, and Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, good call. Yeah, and kale. There's kale in the sink. This smells yeah. delicious. It really does. And I got a can of corn to go in it too. Oh, rice. We need rice. Oh yeah. I'll get right, rice. You want, you want to get the pot? Yeah. Uh, measuring cup? Mm -hmm. So this is the water that we filled up, uh, Paula filled it up today at her office. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> we're carting our water in now because it's winter. And even though it's actually been a pretty warm winter so far. Wow, we've been so lucky. Two months ago in the middle of October, we got our first little bit of a snowfall. And then since then, we've had a, like a week that was cold and then a couple weeks that were warm and then a week that was cold. But right now, it's actually during the day, every day it gets above freezing and that is that is abnormal temperatures for us. So last winter, we had the coldest winter uh, in the past however many decades. 
And so far uh, this season, it's actually been the warmest that it's been as far as back as I can remember. Yeah. So we've we've actually lucked out so far at least. It's been fairly easy. I'm gonna put this water in, okay? Thank you. So looks like we're boiling here oh, for the rice. Oh crap! So I don't have rice. Right. I don't have rice. Right. Take it <laughs> off the heat. Take it off the heat. <laughs> off the heat. Where's the measuring cup? I'll get it back. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Here we go. All right. Got it? Yep. There we are. Emergency averted. Ah. Russell Sprout, coming in. All right, do it. Are we ready for the peppers? Uh, yeah, looks like we're good to go. So, so far in here, we've got onions, carrots, turnip, uh, cabbage, uh, Brussels sprouts, red pepper, and, and soon to be some kale. Soon to be kale. All right. All right, are you ready for the kale? I'm ready. Here we go. Okay. I don't know if we need this all of it, but it does shrink up quite a bit. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna just pour this in here because we're done rinsing stuff. You ready for the corn? I say do it. Yeah. Well, now haven't we made a good mess? We always do. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm cutting up a few green onions just to sprinkle on the top. All right, and I think we're pretty much done here too, so I'm just gonna throw in the uh, avocado now and get that mixed in. You okay with that? Yep. So right now for our sauce on all these veggies, we've just got about three quarters of an avocado because some of the avocado wasn't the greatest. And then uh, we're gonna squeeze in some lime juice and some salsa. We found that the um, the lime and avocado and salsa mix has got a really cool uh, sort of like Mexican kind of flavor to it. And it's super cheap, super healthy, and it's really easy. We like all three of those. <laughs> <laughs> we sure do. Salsa. We use mild salsa because I can't take the heat. And I add extra hot sauce later. <laughs> yes, you do. All right, let's put some sauce in there. All right. All right, I think we're good. So now, I guess we could open up this curtain again. Yes, and we'll hang up the towels and the coats again so we have somewhere to eat. All right, sounds good, let's do that. All right, so, put the table leg in. And then the table itself. Perfect. Now let's get some dinner. Let's eat. All right, so here we go. We've got some dinner ready. Like we said, we just wanted to give you a really quick update uh, as to where we are. You guys have given us tons of great suggestions and ideas for uh, some of our future videos now that we're back from our trip. So just because our uh, Eastern Canada road trip adventure is over doesn't mean that the entire adventure is over. Uh, we're still in the van and we've got tons more to show you. Um, now that it's it's getting a lot colder, we've got all kinds of uh, things to share with you about how we live in here in the winter in Canada, and um, uh, we got tons of questions uh, that you've given us already to answer about how we just do things day to day. So we've shown you how we live on the road. Now we're going to show you a little bit about how we live whenever we're staying put in one spot for a while. And also, I know that through the comments that a lot of people have enjoyed your narration and the pictures and as you know we lost our camera and the last video that we made was uh, the ending of that was just narration and, and some pictures. Well if you did like that please let us know because we have traveled the country. Last summer we uh, did an even bigger trip than we did this summer. We went all the way to the west coast in, in British Columbia and then all the way into the Arctic coast uh, in the Yukon and the Northwest Territories. And we swam, we 
He swam in every ocean, as I think I said in one of our videos our earlier. Video, yeah, our I very first video. That, yeah. yeah, exactly. We have lots of photos. We weren't making any YouTube videos back then, so we never really thought to spend too much energy into uh, actually recording videos. But we do have a few clips, and we have thousands of photos. So if you guys liked our last video, the second half of our last video, which was mostly just photos and narration, uh, let us know in the comments on this video because we have so many videos that we can create uh, about our, our trip across the rest of the country. So uh, stay tuned. The adventure continues. Adventure continues. <laughs> We thought it might be a good opportunity to give you a quick update about where we're at and I guess where we're headed next. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know? No, we don't even know. No, we don't know. <laughs>